Hello everyone. Once again, Assalamualaikum. It's lovely to see you all uh, here on this call today. Thank you for joining us. I hope you all are well and uh, keeping safe uh, during these challenging times. So uh, again, I'm Sanam Salim. I'm a part of the HR team at Nielsen. And I feel extremely privileged to extend my warm welcome to uh, the faculty of IBA, to the students and the Nielsen community as well. Um, we are gathered here today to celebrate the graduating batch of Nielsen Academy 2020. It's a long overdue ceremony and I'm glad that we're having it today. Uh, so as you all know, Nielsen Academy was designed and was started as a community outreach initiative uh, to offer young soon to be professionals with the skills necessary to excel in the workforce. And our journey, our Nielsen's journey at IBA was quite an exciting one. Uh, like Danish was mentioning earlier, uh, we received multiple applications. I think 300 plus applications we received. Uh, we interviewed a lot of the students and we were highly impressed by the quality of students in this institution. So I must admit that there is huge potential and talent in this college. And obviously the credit goes to the amazing faculty at IPA. So I would just like to take a minute here uh, to thank the administration of IBA and acknowledge the efforts of Anish, Siraz, and the entire Career Development Office who welcomed this novel idea and was with us every step of the way. So I would just like all of us together to unmute ourselves, give a huge round of applause to everyone who contributed into this uh, idea and all the students who made it possible. <laughs> Perfect. Great. Thank you for joining me in that. And now just to kind of look back at the highlights from our uh, from our Newton Academy journey journey. I'm just going to quickly share my screen and play a quick video uh, for all of us to see. Uh, so just give me a second while I share my screen. Can everybody see this? No. Uh, no, sir. Can you please? Uh, share? Yes. No, we can't. Yeah, now we can. See. Yeah. Yes, we can. Yes, we can see it now. Perfect. I think uh, the journey and the time that Nielsen's uh, faculty spent at IBA, I'm sure it was as exciting for the students as well. And I'm sure they got a lot out of the uh, out of the two months uh, courses that they took uh, at IBA with the Nielsen faculty. So with that, I will just pass it on to um, to our managing director, Ms. Kurutul Ibrahim, to say a few words um, to the students. Thank you so much, Sana, and thank you everybody for being here. Assalamu alaikum, everyone, once again, and my heartiest congratulations on, you know, passing through this academy and and being officially Nielsen Academy graduate. So, really well done indeed. We had about 150 applications, and I believe about 44 students from IBA have gone through this uh, nine-class course. Uh, I'm sure you would have benefited, but we would love to hear from you. I'm sure my team would have taken some feedback also from you. If not, please feel free to share. 
This was our second academy session. It could not have happened without Danish, the faculty, the management, the leadership of IBA. So thank you to the leadership um, of IBA. I think uh, without their collaboration, this would not have been possible. I would also like to thank every student here also, because I know it's very hard to take out time for things like this. I would call it an extracurricular activity, although I believe a useful one, but nonetheless, you had to take time out. So thank you for doing that and making this a success. And finally, I also want to thank my entire team. I can tell you that my team worked very hard to make this happen. So uh, Rana, Sana, Faraz, uh, they spent hours in administration. Many of my leaders, Mortison, he is here, he's our head of operations. Uh, he, spe he specially flew to Karachi to inaugurate the session. Uh, you know, and share with you some thoughts on market research. Uh, Nida, Vakar, Rubina, many, many of my associates came to see all of you. So thank you to all my team members. Again, I know this was voluntary, but it is wonderful to give back to the community. And what they say is nothing better to give. Best sadka jariya jo hota hai, wo taaleem knowledge hota hai. So please, uh, this is something uh, wonderful. So. Can we just clap for the entire team and all of you? I think we're all one team. And we got to know all of you. Great. Uh, so, how about our objective? I'll just like to share a few things and just take us back to the objective. Objective of this academy is very simple to bridge the gap between what is taught in universities and schools and how it is applied in real life or practical life. Abhi jaise sir kare the ke you know, uh, you're graduating, so you know, you're going into the, the practical world, the work, the world of work basically. So how are you going to apply this knowledge? So I hope uh, things like this, this academy would have helped you bridge that gap. How does Nielsen benefit? Nielsen benefit because you have learned quite a bit of market research essentials that would be very useful for you to apply within our organization or anywhere because market research is basically information. And you will be pleased to know this is the, the most important industry, which is the industry of information. Today. So that was the objective and idea to help you get jobs and to help you also do well in your jobs, in your careers from day one. So to equip you, and I hope, uh, you know, together we would have uh, achieved this objective in, in a good way. You are all learned some knowledge. Now is the time to apply for it or make use of it. But before that, I'd like to share some thoughts and these tips might be helpful to you. So in life, I'm sure all of you, all of us, we want to go far. Can you all hear me, by the way? Okay. I just wanted to check. Yes, we can. You never know about technology. So life may up looks up far jana chate. F A R in English. We all want to go far, as far as we can, in whatever we are good at. So do pick the industry, do pick your passion well. Again, uh, uh, while you were all joining, um, you know, your sir mentioned that you are graduating at a time when there are no jobs. I think this is a wonderful time. You know why? Because you don't have a linear mentality. I have MBA, I have a master's, I have to go to an office mein jana hai and I'm going to start my job there and I'm going to, you know, uh, retire after 30 years. That is gone. The world is no longer linear. And I can tell you because I've been working for the last 20 years, every single year, I feel it has become very hard to project the future. We used to make five year plans, three year plans, 10 year plans. Believe me, that is all gone. Who could have guessed that in March or February, the entire world will be shut down for three months, four months. I can tell you not many people. And I can also tell you, because we gather data on many industries, nobody predicted what this will come, this pandemic, and what will happen to the sales of their products. 
what will be purchased what will be consumed how when how will it be distributed so lots and lots of questions a lot of chaos and turmoil turmoil and uncertainty that is why i'm saying the world is no longer linear careers are not linear my father graduated he did his masters in economics and he joined habib bank and he stayed in habib bank for 40 years can any one of you imagine being in one organization for 40 years but in in our parents generation that was the norm but today we are probably going to go through different careers and I'm, i'm saying different careers not different employers sometimes we will be working sometimes we will be self employed sometimes we will you know do a startup so three things to think about to go far be far what does f in b far stands for be futuristic be proactive plans banao socho it's okay if the plan does not come to fruition but it is so, so sad if you don't have a plan if you're not proactive and you're not thinking what is going to happen okay so do make plans think be proactive every organization every every individual needs to be proactive and think about the future i've already told you the future is not linear so you cannot do a straight line projection so think today kis industry mein maine jana hai what skills do i have what is my strength what can i do better than somebody else and don't wait just get on with it think about the categories that are going to grow it does not need nielsen's data it does not need to be you know that to be an einstein to predict personal care health care a uh, household care is going to go uh, even in case of health care it's going to be more vitamins you know keeping yourself up so please be futuristic look at uh, you know read books about the future there's a great book on the future of work because you're all young professionals i strongly recommend that you read that book uh, the future of work uh look at magazines also so when you graduate doesn't mean that you need to not be connected with any kind of written material it's very very important to be futuristic be proactive so that's my first um uh, tip f and for everyone even i have to be futuristic i have to constantly think next six months like where is my career heading to where is my organization heading where is my country heading to the second uh letter in the word far is a any guess is what a stands for here it can stands for pretty much anything but what do you think a would be in the new world order as they say any guesses adapt 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 you're absolutely spot on z it is adapt adaptability you got to be futuristic and you got to be adaptable to go far adaptability ke bare mein to hum dinosaurs ke bare history you know natural history may be a baat hai ke the species that adapt and adapt fast and well uh go on and live for a long time and i think that's very very true for the human race today so you got to be adaptable so from a work perspective i can tell you what adaptability actually means there is a concept called fluid job descriptions today okay so don't th- think of yourself as i want to be an hr professional what is hr i want to be a marketing person i want to be sales i want to be into no 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 stop thinking and compartmentalizing yourself think more in terms of what impact you're going to bring to business okay and then whatever vertical department whatever you want to call it you're hiding but your thinking needs to be very broad your job description needs to be broad also so stop compartmentalizing yourself even if the organization that you go ahead and work for does it so and and be fluid okay always raise your hands you know if if you are in sales for example you could pick up a marketing project or if you are in hr you could pick up a a business project okay so be fluid be adaptable what this will do is you will not become redundant and redundancy is something that you should be very 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 careful about in life because you know dinosaurs also became extinct you don't want to be extinct you don't want organization uh or your own organization also not to um you know if you're not able to create value then you are going to become redundant so adaptability bahut zaruri hai okay so thinking may be actions may be or careers may be any guess is what r would stands for stand for in the word for r 
realistic yeah that's a good one not in this case <laughs> react maybe okay no very close anna yeah um resilient a lot respond yeah okay no good word though resilience resilience yes you're right again <laughs> so you have to be resilient and you have to be resilient physically because what they're saying is that these kind of germs pandemic health challenges are going to remain so physical resilience is very important in life you go far and i actually mean it and i uh, i don't know whether I, uh, you have heard of sayed babar ali sayed babar ali is the head of packages right um and he is i think in his mid 80s to early to late 80s and he's very very strong one of cycles even now so physical resilience helps you go far mental resilience is also very important think about your mental resilience and also but again very importantly your emotional resilience your eq how much are you impacted by emotions of others during this time of pandemic a lot of you think you know uh being isolated and how you're coping so resilience so three things to go far be far be futuristic be adaptable and be resilient thank you once again and thank you for uh, being with us today yes back to you sana Thank you, Mona, for those encouraging words and those tips and tricks. Because I'm sure all of us need to hear that at this point in time. Uh, so now, just over to our director of operations, uh, Motasim Esad. So over to you, Motasim. Thank you, Sana. Salam alaikum, everyone, and uh, good afternoon. Uh, it's been some time since we've talked. Uh, it was a very nice experience. आप लोगों के साथ आके मुलाकात हुई थी. एक तो हम जब आए थे आई के कैंपस में नो वन हेड एक्सपेक्टेड कि हम ऑनलाइन ये सारे डिस्कशन कर रहे होंगे एट दैट टाइम वी वर थिंकिंग कि हम विल बी थ्रोइंग आर हैट्स एंड देयर एंड विल बी एंजॉइंग द ग्रेजुएशन सेरेमनी बट दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग वे ट्रूली नाउ इन द डिजिटल एज आई थिंक वी डिड आर प्रेजेंटेशन आई रिमेंबर ऑल द ग्रुप प्रेजेंटेशन वर डन ऑनलाइन सो दैट वॉज द फर्स्ट स्टेप ऑल दो वी हैड नॉट एंटिसिपेटेड दैट विल बी डूइंग द ग्रेजुएशन सेरेमनी ऑनलाइन इज वन बट दिस इज वेर वी स्टैंड द रियालिटी ऑफ दिस नाउ एज इज दैट वी आर नाउ इन द डिजिटल एज हमने जो नीलसन अकेडमी शुरू की थी उसके ऊपर ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन दैट दिस वॉज एन आउटरीच प्रोग्राम दिस वॉज यू नो ऑल्सो टू रीच आउट टू द स्टूडेंट टू हेल्प दम अंडरस्टैंड वॉट रिसर्च इज ऑल अबाउट टू हेल्प दम एक्चुअली रियलाइज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ रिसर्च हम रिसर्च के बारे में बात तो करते हैं बट डू यू गेज अंडरस्टैंड दर इज एन इन्फॉर्मेशन ओवरलोड राइट नाउ आप लोगों ने कोविड नाइनटीन को इफ यू टेक दैट एज एन एग्जाम्पल नाउ कोविड नाइनटीन यू कैन फाइंड इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट इट ऑन द नेट यू विल हैव ट्वेंटी पीपल टेलिंग यू वॉट इज द राइट वे ऑफ यू नो टेकिंग केयर ऑफ इट समन विल टेल यू द वैक्सीन इज ऑलरेडी देयर द गवर्नमेंट देर इज अ कंस्पेरेसी थ्योरी सो वॉट इज रिसर्च अलाउज यू टू डू गाइज रिसर्च इज यूटिलाइजेशन ऑफ योर माइंड टू दिस यू नो डिफ्रेंशिएट बिटवीन फैक्ट एंड फिक्शन and that is what research does and that is what we do when we come into the research industry uh, that this is what we do and based on the facts that we are uh, separating out based on the fact and the information that we are collecting a lot of people are willing to invest uh, their money hard earned money hard earned cash companies people they invest in this uh, discussion so this is where we stand uh, overall hum logo ka bada acha experience raha i had uh, come to karachi for almost i think three times do classes humne maine run ki thi khud hamare baaki sare leaders hain unhone bhi bahut hi positive uh, feedback diya on a continuous basis what i found about the iba students was that uh, you were more inquisitive you had a question for everything you were uh, open and ready to challenge even my thought process and which is why i am there look i i don't profess to being a pro, uh, you know an expert in everything so it is always good to uh, challenge and discuss and debate and it will actually end up maybe meri bhi learning hui hai bahut to maine i found this experience as a very good experience i really look forward to this being becoming the norm now uh, because uh, distances don't matter anymore 
uh, I'm sitting in Lahore right now and I'm talking to people sitting in Karachi. We're talking as if we're right uh, in front of each other. So this is don't really matter. I, I really hope that this program continues. Uh, we can, uh, you know, uh, come up with some other variations on it. It's uh, it's involved a lot of effort on Sana's end, on Faraz's end, and, and uh, on the other teams, you know, we've been managing. And of course, I bake your team, you have been helping out. So I really look forward to this. Uh, Hopefully, we will future in the future. My own thing is that I have told you that this is something that you should leverage, you should utilize, uh, really adapt research. Research is part of our life. The moment you go out to watch a movie, you're doing research. Uh, the moment you're uh, you know, uh, buying any product, you're doing research, you're trying to compare. Uh, uh, if I give an example of the pandemic, I had a question for a few days ago, what did we learn? I said, I learned hair, hair cutting. Right? So, uh, usme, what did I do? The first thing I did is when I went out to buy uh, uh, you know, a hair cutter, a shaver and all of those, I actually did my research, found out which one is the best one. Uh, which one I could I get for the cheapest price and I made an informed decision. So this is what research does. Research is not only being utilized in your uh, business decisions, it is also being utilized in your daily, day-to-day -day, uh, decisions. So make sure you keep that whole concept there. Uh, because we are the most uh, developed uh, on this ground. Allah has made our earth. So we have a brain and we utilize it. Uh, of course, uh, now uh, research is a different frontier altogether. Uh, we are not talking about big data. We're talking about artificial, in artificial intelligence coming in. Research is now into programming research. You can actually write programs which will actually start predicting uh, what will happen. So all of these, so, you know, this is, it's a very exciting field. Uh, don't just think of it as you know going out and just collecting information and just uh, regurgitating it into a, a, a you know PowerPoint presentation. Research is all about you coming up, coming back with insights that can actually be allowed or uh, that can actually be applied and that are actionable. So I think this is where I would stop. Uh, otherwise, if you talk about research, may I can continue the whole day. So thank you very much, Sana. Uh, thank you very much, Mona, for allowing us this opportunity. I think this is uh, something that uh, would not have been successful without Mona's help. But even when he launched it the first time around in uh, uh, in the north, which was Punjab area, and you guys were our first foray into the south. So hopefully we will continue on this. Thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Motsim. Thank you for your support all the way as well. Um, now, uh, we would also like to hear from some of the students here on the, uh, on the call with us. So uh, Nada Inam, if you could go first and just take a few moments, tell us how your experience was like. Hi Nada, can you hear us? No worries. Yeah, I Why think you might be on mute, Nada. Okay. No worries, Nada. It's okay. Take your time. Why don't we go ahead and then start off with Temu first then? Temu, if uh, if everything is fine at your end, uh, why don't you take the floor? Yeah. Um, Sam, like, um, I hope everyone can hear me. Yes. Okay, I'm really sorry about the mask and everything, but uh, I'm at the distribution right now of National Food, so I can't really avoid the SOPs. Keep it, keep it on, please. <laughs> uh, yes, definitely. Okay, uh, so first of all, I'd like to thank all of you uh, for actually having um, IBA as one of your top priorities as an institute to visit. Secondly, it was an amazing uh, experience by all the students, uh, myself included. Personally, I felt that it allowed us not only to grow, but actually to have a grasp and a taste of what the, um, what the market actually held. Because uh, people from all across Pakistan came just to entertain us, just to tell us exactly what was going on from ground level to the hierarchy up. And we understood the fact that uh, our presence was as important to them as the uh, people who are experienced. They came down to actually tell us that they are willing to work and invest more onto the future. And I honestly feel that Nielsen should continue to at least, at least uh, keep the Nielsen Academy alive 
for uh, the IBA uh, for the IBA chapter and increase it to all other universities if it's possible. I was also contacted by a lot of students and how to go about getting in touch with Nielsen about the Nielsen Academy. And um, I was like, uh, it just came up at the CDC page. That was thanks to Sir Dane, Sir Ibad, and everyone from the CDC team. So um, that's personally it from my side. Great. Thank you so much, Daimu. We're really glad to hear that you had such an enriching experience. Um, I see that Nada is here with us. So Nada, over to you. Uh, can you guys hear me? Yes. I know. OK, that is good. Um, firstly, I would really like to thank all of the Nielsen's uh, experienced professionals and especially the ones that uh, uh, traveled uh, from Lahore and other cities to mentor us. Uh, while the program offered dynamic learning, what I loved the most was that it focused more towards um, practical examples. We worked in teams um, solving multiple case studies. We had numerous challenging activities that uh, in class. And we also learned how to present key findings uh, from given data. So all this was very practical. Um, and the mentors were very friendly and uh, extremely engaging. So that made the activities very enjoyable and much easier. So I am a data analyst. And as a data analyst, I learned how to drive meaningful insights from market research and understood how to formulate key questions that need to be addressed in both quantitative and qualitative research. Um, lastly, uh, the various key strategies that we were taught by uh, in the Nielsen Academy program, they uh, to present or report the valuable insights to other professionals, that has really helped me in my career because this is a very challenging task to, because there's always a communication gap which needs to be uh, looked, looked for. So I now include all of the crucial elements that are dis that were discussed in class uh, in all of my dashboards, and I have been appreciated many times for presenting my data clearly and concisely. So again, thank you, Nielsen, for the tremendous learning and training. Thank you, Nada. Thank you so very much. And again, best of luck for because I remember getting in touch with you as well after the session, yeah. and I'm glad to see that you yes, have yeah. your. Uh, job and you're doing well there. Great to see. So, uh, Thank you so now, much. now over to Dr. Akbar Zedi for a few words as well. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you. Let me start by thanking Nilsen, Sana, Kurat, uh, Mr. Hassan, uh, and Danish from the IBA side as well. Um, I, I, this is the first event I've done for the IBA. So, you know, it's, it's, Sadly, it's on. Uh, it's in this format, but nevertheless, uh, as Mr. Hassan said, well, this is the future. We better get used to it. We better get good laptops. Better get good phones. That's how we're going to work from now on. So um, I'm very glad for for what uh, Mr. Hassan just said about the IBA graduates. I've been waiting for somebody to pre to praise them, and I'm glad it's Nielsen who's doing them. And I have my doubts, though. You know, I've taught at the IBA. Uh, you know, I, I have to think twice about uh, you know how good some students are. I have a student somewhere here who's been uh, who was in my uh, class. Um, but I um, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I mean, I don't want to make this about myself, but uh, I give give me an opportunity to do so. So um, all my life, I've done research. My background is I've done a PhD. I've done economics. I've done a PhD in history. But my research has been in economics and social sciences. Um, my first job was at Karachi University in the building next to the IBA uh, called the Applied Economics Research Center. It was, as it says, an economics research center. That's where I started. And I've published, I've done research, and I really, really enjoy research. I've known Nielsen through people who've worked there. I've known AC Nielsen has been a, a, go, a global brand. And I think um, the IBA students and the IBA are fortunate to have the interaction with a, with a group of people who come from Nielsen. Um, unfortunately, I haven't been part of the process that you've been through, the IBA, uh, my students have been through, and I would have liked to do that. And hopefully when you come back next time, and I hope you'll be here every semester, you know, I'm just plugging the IBA, that uh, Nielsen will come back every semester, have a short uh, training program. I'd like to participate as a student to come to see what's happening and understand how new technologies are, are coming up. Now people have tablets, they work on tablets, they do research in tablets. 
30 years ago, 40 years ago, when I started doing this, we had a pencil, not even a pen, a pencil and a piece of paper, you know, sometimes photo styled, sometimes cyclo styled. But we got the results done. And technology is, is fantastic. People do research on phones now. I, I think it is difficult to imagine anybody not doing research in the world today. If you have a laptop, you're doing research. Okay, what should I buy? Where should I eat? You know, uh, Khadi.com, Daraz, you know, it's all about research. We're all making choices. We're all thinking about what we want, what we want to order in. Uh, and, you know, as Mr. Hassan said that the, the pandemic, and I think as Purat said as well, the pandemic has forced us to use technology, adapt to technology, and to get, you know, it, at some times bombarded by choices. Um, and that's basically what research is, deciding what we want, what we want, what's best, what's the best option. Do I buy this um, uh, LCD? Do I buy this laptop? Do I, you know, and, and you do research. I think the, the, the young people of today learning as they learn their, you know, their marketing, their economics, their history, are also learning how to adapt to this world and how to how to do their own research. Uh, you know, what, what, are, what are you going to wear? What are you going to watch? Netflix is telling you that there are 40 different movies which have been released last week. And you have to decide, okay, I know I've got, you graduated, you're unemployed. You know, I, I wonder if uh, you heard what Malala said when she graduated. She said, okay, I'm going to sleep, I'm going to read, and I'm going to watch Netflix. I hope all of you are doing that. Uh, as graduates, and uh, I'm very grateful to Nielsen uh, and to the IBA team for setting this up and for Nielsen for, for bringing IBA together. And I hope this is going to be something that continues uh, for, you know, over the next semesters. I, you know, I, I, I'm not a fan of the pandemic, and I don't think anybody is, but it's taught us how to adapt. I think as Mr. Hassan and both Gurat said, it's taught us how to adapt at, at a time when there's been a lot of pressure, emotional pressure, financial pressure, exams, job pressure. <clears throat> I, I don't know whether I should tell the uh, Nielsen partners this, that um, everybody at the IBA this semester, this graduating class has been given a grace pass. You know, okay, you're all pass. You know, we've been very, very lenient. It's been difficult. It's been, you know, it's not been a good semester to get through to graduate. But, you know, we've, we've had to adapt how our teaching has taken place, um, how people have graduated and so on and so forth. And also, I think it's, it's been a very good opportunity to learn in an environment where things haven't worked out as you planned them. I think somebody said a little while ago, in fact, when we were talking earlier, that um, uh, they, Nielsen was supposed to come to the campus, interact with the students, have these seminars with them, have, tell them how to work. That hasn't happened. So we've, in some ways, all of you, uh, all 35 of you, 34 of you, have been trained in a very different environment. And you can now take both the, the traditional tools of research and learning and the non-traditional tools for research and learning and take them forward. I think you actually have an advantage. I mean, I mean imagine learning something at a time when things have been so difficult, but you have an advantage which a lot of other people don't have. Maybe those who've been through Nielsen, you know, methodology and 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 more traditional learning, you know, where somebody comes and you, you have a classroom. Okay, it's a great, it's great fun, but now you're prepared to perhaps step in and take the lead where a lot of people who've been through these types of trainings have not had the opportunity. So it's you know it's sometimes as I think Kurat was saying that even when things are bad, something good comes out of it. At least. We are, we are taught to look at the brighter side of things. So I want to congratulate all of you for, for being through this. And I hope that Nielsen will offer 20 jobs to some of, to, all, to 20 people at least. You know, I mean, they've done your course. Now, now you should step up and say, okay, you'd like to, you know, 20 of these 30 people should get a job at Nielsen. That will solve their problem. It will solve my problem. And I hope that they'll be, you know, brand leaders for the IBA. So congratulations to all of you. Well done. Thank you again, again, Nielsen. Thank you, Danish. Thank you, those. Thank you, Malahat. All those who supported this effort. So well done again. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Akbar. Thank you so much again for your efforts as well and for allowing us to, um, giving us such a warm welcome actually at IBA. And thank you very much once again. So now just for the closing remarks, uh, I would like to pass it on to our HR leader, uh, Ms. Rana Kazmi. Over to you. 
Hi. Hi, everyone. Um, Assalamu alaikum and congratulations to all the students. Just going to echo what, what everyone has said. So thank you to um, the IBA team, the faculty, the CDC. Thank you to my team, our HR our team, Sana Faraz, and our leaders, so Motasim, Mona, all of the managers who went out, took time, and you know made sure that they're able to share their experience and knowledge with all of you. Because we understand that the university and the corporate linkage is important, and it benefits both of us. It adds value uh, to enabling a better future for all of us together, whether it's in the academic realm of things or whether it's in the corporate. Um, what I do want to share, because this is a, a daunting time to graduate, it's a different time to graduate, you are different from your um, you know, um, predecessors in that way. I think focus on the things that uh, you know everyone's talked about today, and I'll just sum it up based on what my learnings have been as well during this time. So focus on transferable skills, uh, people management, communication, analytics, skills that you will need uh, regardless of what function you're in, skills that you can build and you can pass on as easily uh, you know from one function to another so again don't be hung up on a particular function or department be open that's also very important so as you go out and look for jobs internships traineeships and even in terms of learning be open and flexible in terms of what's out there and choose experience I think today if you're making a choice make it about what you're going to learn how it's going to add value to your professional journey and and be open to learning something new, be open to a role that let's say you didn't map out for yourself, but you do see a potential for learning there. Uh, again, when you do have limited choices, it's important to be armed with the right information to research those choices and to and to make them from the perspective of how they will add, uh, you know, to what you're going to be doing in the future. We also learned that self-sufficiency is important, right? How uh, how can we do more with less? How can we do stuff ourselves? How can we focus on what we can control? And again, um, focusing also on, on, on control in terms of emotions as well and mental health as well. So taking out time for our own selves, knowing that this is a time of anxiety, a time of crisis, chaos, but how can we build that safe space for ourselves and, and focus on us, right? So don't get um, pushed, pressured. I mean, it's going to be there, but don't try and avoid it as much as possible. Again, um, make use of your network. So whether that is at IB or elsewhere during your internships, I think focus on um, social networking, um, you know, understanding what people in different industries are doing, what's going on. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of things or opportunities will breed out of that as well in terms of just being there at the right place at the right time as well. While you are armed with the right skills that we're all sure of. Um, again, have empathy, empathy for yourself and empathy for others, whether this is people in your family or neighbors, your graduating class. These are your this is your tribe. This is your family. So, again, have empathy as you all face this together and again come out successful together um, be creative last but not least I think um, this is a time where we can potentially and we've seen that right we've seen that in troubled times and progress that follows those troubled times in history um, being creative people have gone into entrepreneurship self startups things we never thought landscaping or yoga as a profession you know so so think broader think more flexible and definitely we want to again continue the the partnership with IBA whether through the Nielsen Academy or otherwise and and again, to share, we um, already are looking at, you know, um, some interns that we're evaluating from uh, from IBA. And as we, we get, uh, you know, positions opening up at Nielsen, we're definitely, uh, you know, very, very eager to get Nielsen Academy graduates uh, join us, hopefully. Great. Thank you so much, Rana. Uh, you summarized it really well. Um, uh, now, just to wrap it up, I will hand it over to Faraz to share the certificates and the list with us. Sure, Sana. Thank you. Uh, I'm sharing my screen with you all. Um, so thanks once again to all of you, uh, you know, joining uh, today in the ceremony virtually. So let's begin the names. I hope you can see my screen. Yeah. So the first name is very, very uh, Muhammad Usman, Muhammad Ustisam, uh, Ahad Akbar, Shahan Zafar, Arfaz Adil, uh, Dalakan Ahmed, Shah Alam, 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 Shah Alam,
सुंदर सुंदरता किसवानी ईशा आसमान अन्ना रक्षाए अन्य हानी आयशा कटरी साद अहमद सोहा अक्सर खान निशाल अमीन रेदा सरवर यमुना अहमद सकीब नदीन मजहत नजाहत नदीन राजिया एहतिशाम नादा इनाम अलिश्वा सलमान मरियम ईशा माहिम सैफुल्ला हिरा सुमन इब्राहिम खान वास्ता फातमा अली हैदर तैमूर खान इब्रा अहमद सैयद कैफ अली जैदी उवैस हयात खान आगा नासिर खान साबिया नासिर मोहम्मद अयान खान सैयद जैद अली एहसन अली जहंगीर अहमद एंड बेस्ट तो थैंक यू वेरी मच टू ऑल ऑफ यू uh for you know uh you know joining the nielsen academy so now we will proceed towards taking a screenshot as in picture of our graduation ceremony so i would request each and every one of you to you know uh switch on your videos so that we can uh take a picture and i would request you all to just smile for a second and then we can close of this, this is how photos are going to be in this age guys yeah. <laughs> best miles forward <laughs> you need to do a countdown for us otherwise just wait up okay sure i'm smiling yeah <laughs> <laughs> sure okay 1 2 3 sana if you uh, if you could also take some pictures from your side yeah i i've done that yeah did that as well so thank you everyone awesome. you know uh, for joining us today and uh, you know uh, wish you best of luck and stay safe bye thank guys. you everyone thank you. bye thank, thank, you. You. thank you thank you all bye thank you thank you thank you and laughers bye thank you and laughers thank you laughers